Hey folks, welcome to our channel. I hope you're doing well. We are from BMN Infotech Private Limited, a leading IT company in India. In this video, we will talk about routing through buttons and anchor tags. Now simply do we have to make some of these layouts, in the previous videos we had seen how the layouts are made, so our layout is ready here and I have the navigation bar, I keep it on all the pages, by the way we do the navigation. Don't carry the bar everywhere. Technically we include the header on every page. But at the moment we are not going to go that deep, so I move this nav bar to every page. Whatever pages I am opening, I move and keep this nav bar on all those pages. So see these three pages we were opening and we will open one more page which will open on button click and that will be our customers create page. So see this is the customers create page. So if I put this header on this page, then the navigation bar has come everywhere, see on all the pages. Now this navigation bar is not centralized, keep this thing in mind because we have just copy pasted the code and you can also centralize using layouts. With the help of what we have shared in the concept of the previous video, you can center with the help of layouts. So now there is a button here, on its click I have to open a page. So to do this, we will go here, I open this create page. So here is resources inside view and inside view here you will find customer. Blade.php so we have to go to the page with view and go to customer view. Blade.php and there is a button on it which says add this means you can click here to add customer of add customer. So we will come here and here we will give anchor tag then on click of button we will give other anchor tag and on click of this button I have to open that form on which user can add. So we have used the first method in which direct URL has to be entered. Now come to the second method. This is the root which is working to create the user. So what will you do? You will name it root here. So what you will do in that, you will give root name and in that you have given a name to customer. Create. Now whenever you have to access this root i.e. when you want to see the customer create. So you have two ways, you access it by URL method. The second way is you use the name customer. Create. So what is the way to use so we go to this page and this is my button and here I will echo and Laravel provide me a function named root and root has this root named customer. Create. So two there are ways guys, first of all let me tell you the first way is to use the URL method and write the string of the URL and the second way is to make a fixed name of that URL so that if you want to change the name of the URL tomorrow, even then there is no problem in me. That's why the name root is created and there is another reason to create another name root see I refreshed the page is loading properly and I changed something in the name root and now I refer. So the page will give error here and say that there is no root defined with this name. So you can avoid these things that in future you should not make such a root which is not being redirected anywhere. So to avoid roots that redirect 404 named roots were created, so that if you check the name in roots, then Laravel will check whether this root is not such that it will take you to 404. Just see now it's loaded back. If you click on the ad, you will come back to the ad, if you click on the customer again, then you will come to the customer. From here let's add a new customer like I have named it, I have put testing and password and from here we will submit. So now see it is showing 404. And why it is showing 404 what because I here I have the controller, controller of redirect the to customer view when the form is filed but now I have removed it to the customer. So now here also we have to change it and we have to keep only customer and it is refreshed and you can see the output now the entry which we had added is being shown here. Now there are some other methods like we will place buttons here as to what status we want to keep on the click of this button. So we create an action name and tab here. Inside this action, we are going to have two buttons. By the way let's make two, one button will be for delete. Here the class btn btn danger. So this delete button has come. Now what we will do in this, we will get the particular record deleted, which we will see in the upcoming videos. And now the active and inactive ones that you are seeing, we will make them into buttons and we make them into buttons as well. So this has become our two buttons, one will be primary and one will be danger or success. To understand all these things you should have some knowledge of bootstrap because these are classes of bootstrap, now see. Now we will put anchor tags all over them. 
So we'll understand these things when we go to the update query. So I am telling you that you will have to manage routing on these buttons and anchor tags. Now in the next video we will understand which of the guys we will delete the entry with the click of a button. So guys, I think you all must be following my playlist videos so that you can understand the upcoming concepts. So I hope guys, you must have understood all these concepts very well. If you are new to the channel then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell in the comment box if you face any kind of problem. See you guys stay connected with us in the next video. And do what you love.